The traditional things in life often we come to expect. Sometimes we forget that these things are gifts and not guaranteed. What about the families who are homeless or unable to provide? Even the simple things like providing a cake and presents on one's birthday might not ever happen. Have you ever stopped to think about this? Here at Talk It Up TV, we have. We're about to surprise Cade with the birthday party that he will never forget. This is Talk It Up TV. It all began um, back in about 2007. Um, I was laid off of a job that I had been at for six years. So we just constantly fell further behind on our bills. And rent being, of course, one of them. Eventually we were evicted and we eventually ended up homeless. We were uh, living in a tent for about a month or so, fortunately during the summertime. In the meantime, my wife Kimberly had uh, applied to the Kith organization. It actually took six months for me to get a hold of somebody in Kith to explain our situation, but ultimately it took me calling just about every day, leaving messages for six months. I couldn't give up because I, I wanted to have a secure, safe home for my children. Fortunately, they came through for us. It was in January of 2012. And uh, we have since then been in this place here. It kind of brought our family closer together. We have all learned to live with less than we were used to. As far as traditions and holidays, I think it's actually done us some good because I think we tend to appreciate now what we have. We're grateful for what we have more than gifts. Now we're, we consider luxuries. We've been very fortunate to come across the Birthday Dreams organization. And through them, we've actually gotten a lot of other resources, you know, with food, electricity, things for the kids, clothing, you know, just essential stuff just to get by. How did Birthday Dreams come about? Well, about four years ago, we were looking for some volunteer work to do. And I went to um, an organization called Holiday Stockings for Homeless Children. I had no idea we had such a giant homeless problem in the Seattle area. There were over 3,000 homeless kids that we stopped stockings for that year. Oh. And so we are talking about it, wondering what else the children needed besides stockings, and did some research and found out birthday parties. Uh, mm -hmm. I was just amazed that, you know, we have all these wonderful organizations who do so much for these homeless families, but, you know, birthday parties aren't really a priority. How do you typically celebrate your birthday? Um, we pretty much just have a cake and dinner, and then we sing happy birthday. Cade was one of the big, biggest blessings of my life. He's quiet, he's shy, and he also, um, he's very kind. He's one of the most kind-hearted children that I know. Football, he loves football. His other hobby is of course, every kid's video games. <laughs> Cade's favorite hobby is definitely football. Um, at school, at recess, after school, outside in front of the house. My favorite hobby is football because I get to play with all my friends and because I get to run around a lot. Hi, is Cade here? Cade. Cade, hi, my name's Amy. From Amy's Limousine Service. Most people at Talk It Up TV told me you had a birthday recently. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yeah. It's my real birthday today. Mm -hmm. I got a surprise for you outside. You want to come with me? Yeah. Cool.
Happy birthday! You were from the Sea Gals and we're from the Seattle Seahawks cheer team and we are so happy to be here for your birthday. I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hear you like Green Bay, not Seahawks anymore, huh? Mm -hmm. You like Seahawks a little bit? Yeah. Good. of all the girls and we signed it for you. We want you to keep up your dream of becoming a football player, okay? So, we're almost gonna get started here. What's gonna happen is, uh, do you guys wanna walk in there? Kind of yeah. see what it's all about? Yeah. yeah, okay. So we're gonna do that, then we're gonna come out and then we're gonna have some of our instructors come and fly around and kind of show you how it works. Okay. And then we're gonna go into a classroom, we're gonna learn all about it, we're gonna learn some hand signals, and then it's our turn to fly. You guys ready to do this? Sometimes the little things in life we unknowingly take for granted can mean everything to someone. We hope that Cade's story will also open your eyes to appreciate these little things. Please help us share the story and our messages with your friends and like our Facebook fan page. Thanks for watching Talk It Up TV.